<laughs> oh god <laughs> you took that to a dark place man i'm just talking about tripods <laughs> right? hey bud how's it going if you're new to the channel then welcome take a seat and if you're coming back siobhan i'm not here to rain on your parade i'm here to flood it welcome back to another movie reaction my name is sam steph we're, we're the movie buds yeah lemonade mouth we're doing this to ourselves. <laughs> it's a bit brutal considering we have no idea what's going to happen in this movie. This movie might be fine. <laughs> we might actually really like it. Okay, to be fair, I have seen someone else's commentary on this like a year ago. Oh, yeah. I feel like it was Danny. I'm pretty sure it was Danny. Danny Gonzalez, yeah? Yeah. Before we get into the movie, thanks to all of our members for being with us. I think we have about 120 yeah. right now, which is... Great. Thanks to you guys. Hot damn. Big thanks to all of our new subscribers too, of course. Thank you very much. Big love to everybody. Live streams should be coming back soon. We've been looking into some programs so that way we can dual stream. So, you know, the movie bud chat room will be open again soon. Yeah. Apologies to all of the people who enjoyed coming to our live streams that we haven't done it lately. I realize now that some people didn't realize that we were in lockdown and that was causing issues. Uh, I see. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I didn't think about that earlier, so sorry. Poets. Geniuses. Okay. Alrighty. Revolutionaries. Oh. Lemonade Mouth has been called all of these things. Okay. The legends of the scene. Settle down, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm getting that Lemonade Mouth is the name of the band. Yes. Right. Fantastic name. But the real story is a mystery to them all. Okay, my main thing is wanting to find out how we got to the name Lemonade Mouth. I wonder if they'd believe it. I think I remember. Okay. But I'm not going to say it for now. You break a rule. I had another day of detention. Are we clear? Great. Stella Yamada. <laughs> that shirt. Question of 30. Mo Banjuri. Bass. Charlie Delgado. Drum God. Of course. Me, Olivia White. Future frontman for Lemonade Mouth. Cool. All right. It was this ragtag group of five. <sighs> what makes it ragtag? You gotta love it when they describe themselves as a ragtag group. We're a bit of a rough and tumble crew. We're somewhat of a motley group, you may say. <laughs> We are going to put those thumbs to use. We're going to clean up around here. Now, hold up. Is that Tisha Campbell? We might as well make the best of it. Don't know. Did you ever watch My Wife and Kids? We've been banished to the basement. Ages ago. Damon Wayans, Tisha Campbell. Yeah, yeah. If they spent a fraction of what that new gymnasium cost to keep this music program... I just... That is 100, though. Schools do not put enough funding into their music programs. <laughs> yeah, well, absolutely. If I'm going to tell you this right... I need to go back to the morning it all began. Well, I think people undervalue music because they think of it as just a thing to, like, get famous and be a star. But yeah. music's good for a lot of other things. Oh, yeah, 100%. Anytime you hear music in anything, someone was paid to do that. <laughs> Not just career-wise. I mean, developing your ability to play music helps you learn how to communicate a little bit better. I'm not saying that it's the only way, it's just one way that is helpful. Well, for me, it helped me not be shit at maths. Sure, oh, because patterns. I was hopeless at maths, and then I studied music, and then suddenly I could do calculations in my head way, way easier because my brain just got used to it. Especially as a drummer. I know this is hard. Transferring to a new school a month into the year. Yeah, that is always pretty rough. Sure. As someone who had to get moved to a new primary school in year five. Yeah, sure. That was brutal. Have fun. Don't you think it's a little weird that your girlfriend's still in college? Who? Um, she's 28 when. Oh. oh. Okay. I mean. Yeah. When when guys go through yeah. midlife crisis. She's a full grown adult. True. They buy a sports car, right? Well, what do you say? We turn in the old truck, get a sports car. That would be super weird for him, though. Yeah. Give Sydney a chance for me. He's like, yeah, dad, you don't need a girlfriend. You need a car. Can't pick you up from piano practice. Sydney called. Ah, and he's prioritizing the girlfriend. Soccer tryouts are today. Oh. Your mother we thought you might like to have this with you today. It was your brother's. Ah. Uh, Tommy scored the winning goal at state finals with that ball. Good for Tommy. <laughs> Wait, is Thomas dead? I think um, what he are you might calling be. for Tommy? Oh. He's just away at college. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, Mom. What the hell? <laughs> 
chill out. Okay, you know what, though? You're taking care of a kid for 18 years or whatever, and then he's not under your supervision anymore at all. Oh. Yeah, that's embarrassing. Good one. How often do these kids just not look where they're walking, hey? A lot. That lipstick you're wearing? No, Baba. <laughs> <laughs> You're too young for that sort of thing. Is she? She's just trying to go for the really subtle lipsticks to get away with it or whatever. It's the most subtle fucking lipstick you could think of. Oh, go on full lip gloss now. Yeah. Fair enough. That's the thing, it's not even lipstick, it's lip gloss. Yeah. There you are. Hey, Scott, you scared me. I've been looking all over for you. Oh, hey, it's cool guy. The band and I, we're gonna ditch this morning. Wanna come? Ah. Uh. Sure, I'd love- Mm-hmm. I can't. What? We barely see each other as it is. Oh. Yeah, only every day at school. Yeah. <laughs> I got mudslide crush rehearsals all weekend. Fucking mudslide crush? Oh, hey, it's this guy. Fuck, what's this guy's name? Stella's still working through some anger issues. Yes, I can see that. Can't remember, I just know him from a bunch of stuff. He's always a dick. Straight up. He plays a real good dickhead. Is there a dress code here? Well, no, but there is an unwritten line. That shirt crosses it. How is she supposed to know that if it's unwritten? That sounds like bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I kind of feel like if you're gonna have rules, you should have written rules. Stella. That t-shirt is super cringy. Please cover it up. <laughs> Students, respect the rules. Please don't call my dad. He doesn't even want me alone with the boy. He'd never let me out of the house. Ah. Uh, I think that's the idea. Yeah, that is the idea. This is your first infraction? Yes. You are on the honor roll. Ah. Uh, Okay. I won't call your father. Get one chance. This time. Yeah, everybody gets one. Wendell, you're up. <laughs> Wendell. You got this, bud. Oh no. Don't worry. He got the wrong folder. Oh no. We're waiting. Oh no. Wait, is this the- It's dad's girlfriend's photography stuff. Yep. This can't be happening. Hey man, you know she's more important than you now, okay? Sorry to interrupt. Oh, she came in at least. Check out Wings. Mommy. Ew. Oh. She's not my mom. Definitely don't say it like that. Are you kidding me? Look at her. Oh, brother. Okay, stop. Are you stupid? Whoa, dude. That's not nice. A little too far. Detention. She's still a person, man. Yeah, true. But also just don't call your teacher dumb. He actually uh, let me off with a warning. Oh, what? You know, I got um soccer practice. Oh. Oh. That's some bullshit. Yeah, he's an athlete, of course. I was like, being in a band wouldn't get you those privileges. No. But being a school athlete totally would. Most definitely, yes. What can I tell you, Jenny? <laughs> what the fuck? You cut the music budget to zero. And for what? Some gymnasium? Yeah, sports over athletics. That makes sense. Sports bring donors yes. and money makes my school run. Fuck, man, this Segway thing. Remember how that was like a big deal for a few years? Yeah. Thank God it was just a few years. Oh, yeah. Times are tough, Jenny. Someone's got to make the hard decisions around here, and that someone is moi. Although now we've just moved over to electric scooters. Okay, fair enough. Um. Um. Why are you in the janitor's closet? Skipping class as well? It's a weird way to skip class, but I guess it's one way. <laughs> Just no conversation at all. There you go, buddy. Enjoy. Let's go, Delgado. Go to kids, come on. Are you sure that's Tommy Delgado's brother? Oh, no. You gotta kick the ball. I'm, I'm really relating to this Delgado character. The living in your brother's shadow situation. Living in my brother's shadow, not liking soccer, and playing <laughs> drums. Ah, Ooh. fair enough. Oh, yeah, that's true. All of those things are true. I think he did that on purpose, coach. Oh, that's some bullshit. Of course it's some bullshit, but you know how it goes in these movies. Of course. What is happening? Turbo Blast. That's a sports what? drink. Why do we? You know what? Actually, I love this. This is great. This is fantastic. Oh, and they're sponsoring the school. Yes. Welcome to our- They need a thirst quencher, so. Mm-hmm. Our school sponsored Turbo Blast. A thirst for funding. <laughs> drink of champions. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, those teachers do not look stoked. Empowerment. 
That's right. Why Find don't you, uh... Find another seat. Why don't you make me? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, though. It's funny. I've seen this so much in movies and TV shows and shit. But, like, never happened to me. I know, right? Yeah. Who actually does that? I don't know. I assume that that's a thing that happens. I guess. Had to happen to someone. Going above and beyond. Want empowered students? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. You used to love that bullshit. Turbo blast. What do you... My shirt! My decision. <laughs> <laughs> no! Be hurt! Use your voice! It's just a t-shirt. A real cringe one, too. Question authority! Did I tell you what to wear? <laughs> but it is total bullshit, though. You don't have a dress code, you can't tell your students what to wear. Oh, you are 100. Yeah. You have the right to be cringe if you want. <laughs> You know what? When I was a teenager, I cared that much about what t-shirt I was wearing too, so. Oh, 100%. Yeah. I mean, it's like they're teenagers. Just let them wear their fucking t-shirts. <laughs> oh, straight up. I mean, if I didn't have my Trivium shirt when I was 17, that was a big deal. What is this place? This is the underground. What the hell? Robotics club? Ah. Shakespeare Society? All of the programs that have no money. Chess club. He hasn't found a partner in months. Aww. Aww. Bud. Aww. Art club. So literally everything mm -hmm. except for sports. <laughs> Even the school yeah. newspaper. What the hell? How big is this school? Anything that doesn't fit Principal <laughs> Brennigan's mold. Yeah, anything that isn't sports is just in the underfunded basement area. Brennigan just stuck your clubs in the basement? Pretty much. But how big is this freaking basement? Hey, they got a lot of basement, okay? Detention's at the end of the hall. Damn jocks, cheerleaders keeping us down, man. I don't think we had cheerleaders. I was on all boys school, so people would have had a problem with that. There is a moment where the stars align, creating that perfect union. Ah, so this is where the lemonade mouth came in. Yeah, I'm getting it. This was that moment. Do you get those like bottle can things? But also though, if it isn't that sour, it's not lemonade. True. Just start cleaning up or something around here. What? She can't make us clean. Yeah, she really can't. What is with these teachers? Welcome to high school. It's true. Ew. Ah, good times. The old linky ceiling. Dude, we just heard the toilet flush earlier. I'm pretty sure that's shit water. <laughs> These kids are gonna like get dysentery from breathing in the fumes. The room literally smells like shit. Yeah. Oh, oh I okay. I see yeah. they're gonna stop playing music now. Hold up, is this a musical or a music movie? It's a music movie. Because I'm feeling musical right now. I know. I feel like DCOMs kind of tread that line a bit. But we're getting some stump action here. You know what I'm saying? Who the fuck? <laughs> fuck, okay. This doesn't happen. <laughs> this doesn't happen ever. Definitely not with something I've been a part of. I love how she's getting the sound of an electric bass out of that standing bass. Yeah, it's definitely not plugged in. Oh, she's just coming up with these lyrics on the spot. Mm, to be fair, that's believable. That is believable, but just damn, that's skill. <laughs> oh, it's good. Don't, it's talented, but totally believable. We're just trying to get through. Still can't look where she's going, though. <laughs> Perfect harmonies. <laughs> Okay, this part right here is where we've lost reality. No one's singing with her too. <laughs> yeah, there's harmonies, but no one's actually providing them. Come on, come on, we're gonna use it. Yeah, the different changes and stuff, that's not how a jam works for sure. No, this shit is rehearsed. Where it started, that was believable. Where it is now, makes no sense. Hell no. <laughs> is this just all in their imaginations? They actually sound like <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh no, they're hallucinating from the poo fumes in the room. <laughs> Oh god, <laughs> they got those dysentery hallucinations. <laughs> They're all just kind of like having a fit on the ground. There's asbestos in the ceiling. <laughs> Olivia, you have a beautiful voice! Okay. Your band, it's a gift! I mean, she is the music director, so... You are meant to play together! She's desperate, she will take anything. You don't have a moment like that and then just ignore it? Yeah, you definitely don't have a moment like that. No one has a moment like that. Well, that's what I was saying. If, <laughs> it's not if you can real. manage to write a full song on the spot without rehearsal, you've got some shit that no one else has. Rising star! Rising what? It's a talent competition. Winner gets a record deal. Those talent type shows really were not a thing here. You remember, I think we got invited to a couple and we're like, yeah, nah, thanks fam. Nah, we're all good. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Pass. Between my AP classes and violin lessons? I've got... Stuff. You have no stuff, Delgado. Don't you fucking lie. What about you? I don't sing. Um, what? Uh, we just heard you sing. Yeah, what the fuck was that? Yeah, she's calling bullshit. That wasn't real, like, on a stage. I can't do that. 
Oh, she's saying she doesn't perform. That's different. The last time I performed on stage was my first grade recital. I threw up down Mikey Nichols' back. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Let's see it. Go full pitch perfect. That was hilarious. It was humiliating. No, Wendell's got it right. That would be hilarious. That would be. Let's like crush her entering. We wouldn't have a shot. Well, if we don't stand a chance, why bother, right? Ah, oh, dude. You said it yourself. You deserve to be heard. I'm sure, everybody deserves to be heard. I mean, the only reason you need to play music is because you like to play music. Yeah. That's kind of it. Play because you want to. It's fun. Way too many people have said to me, oh man, I really wish I'd picked up an instrument. Oh man, I really yeah. wish I'd performed like on stage at least once. And it's like, yeah. dude, just go for it. <laughs> try it. Just try it. It's hard and it takes time and you will be frustrated, but it's worth it. You just got to focus on the, enjoying the journey. That's the thing. Everybody wants to be at the end result. And it's like, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, no, you got to, you got to work your way up. We're going off for a ride. Want to come? Nah, I don't like to ride. Since when don't you like to ride your horse? I get that that situation can be awkward, but as long as your dad or girlfriend's not been a prick or anything, mm. Seems like they're trying. They are trying. And he's kind of just shutting them out. The only legitimate reason I'd have for being caught would be if like, it was the way that he broke up with the mom was super messy or something. Maybe he cheated on the mom with the new wife or yeah. girlfriend, I guess, is it? Yes. Yeah. Something like that I'd understand. But as far as we can see, it seems like he's just being a bit moody about it. <laughs> So I'm confused. Is she a violin player and a bass player? Or do they just think that they're like similar because one's a smaller version of the other or something? Maybe. <laughs> they're just like, well, she can play violin. So obviously she could play double bass. They're the same <laughs> <Yeah>. thing, right? <laughs> so, how were soccer tryouts? Oh, they were great. Well, um, they were crap because he doesn't like soccer. <laughs> great. <laughs> <laughs> soccer tryouts were great. I totally made the band. I mean, soccer team. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you come in now and hit the books? The band of soccer players. Yuck, Dad. How can you eat that? Oh, seriously? Imagine how that poor fish felt. Wait, what? When did you become a vegetarian? Yeah, when did uh, this happen? Four months ago? Wow, for a bunch of geniuses, you people don't pay very good attention. I mean, maybe they'd pay more attention if you weren't such a jerk. Sorry I'm not out inventing biodegradable plastic. You should be sorry about that. Yeah. Pretty important. Making my own toys or curing cancer. I can do things too, you know? Oh, she's the dumb one. Aw, <laughs> that's why she's a vegetarian. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm with it. It's that time of year again. <laughs> you have to get out there and vote because guess what? Mind you, I am kidding. Not, you want to be vegetarian, go ahead. They have the principal announcing shit on a TV screen in their classrooms. <laughs> okay. It seems like they really could have afforded, you know, more shit for the other subjects. <laughs> Yeah, just don't have the TV screens. Yeah. Dude, that was the same thing at AIM. Yeah, they got all those TV screens? Dude, they could have upgraded all of the musical equipment, but they got TV screens instead. Yeah. Surprise, motherfucker. Bye. Yeah. Okay, you know what? It's accurate that they downgraded the music department and got TV screens instead, because that's exactly what happened to us. Yeah, no complaints. <laughs> yeah. That's 100. It's not gonna happen. Sure it is. My son is up for Rising Star this morning. Oh, did she just do that to spite her family? I think so. I gotta love that. I also signed us up for Halloween Bash. Like, oh, you guys are all joining. We're a band now. Yeah. Sorry, I know you don't want to, but this is where we're at. I know you literally have all the commitments, but fuck those. <laughs> Goofing around in detention does not make us a band, so we'll practice. Considering how far you got without practicing, I think you'll be fine. Yeah, I think you're a band. Okay, so what are we gonna play? You could write our songs. That one you did the other day was... Yeah, the song you, you wrote on the fly. Again, the start, fair. How it just continued to go through changes and add new parts? No. Bullshit. <laughs> just, that's, that's devil work. Yeah. No other explanation, just devil work. But I don't want to be some random face people vaguely recall passing in the halls. <laughs> I want to be heard. As if high school is just the be all and end all of your existence. Well, I mean, to be fair, when you're in high school, you do think that. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. But just in retrospect, it's so funny. I'll give it a shot. Only if everyone else agrees. So quickly, within a few years of leaving high school, you're just like, um, that did not matter that much. No. Come on. Say you'll try. Like, we all know that you're gonna say yes, so just do it. Come on. Okay, okay. There you go. I'll do it. Yeah! Yay. <laughs> Such a hard decision. The reluctant front of the band. Yeah. Gotta love it. Heads we do it, tails we don't. Well, no, it's heads you do it, tails they get a different drummer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of the misconceptions about Lemonade Mouth. True story. Is that we were a natural fit. Totally not true. Come on, Charlie. You're not even trying. Be to B flat, back to B, then an F sharp. Wait, B, B flat, B? 
Oh, you mean the notes. Yeah, that was a cool riff, though. We just need to keep practicing. That was a pretty cool riff. I like it. Maybe we need to go a little more hardcore. <laughs> That's it. I'm out of here. You're just gonna stomp away. She brings out Madball and Agnostic Front Records. Gotta keep a positive outdoor. Real hardcore. I'm classically trained. I don't play whatever this is. Sounds like weak sauce to me. Yeah. I don't play that. That is some early quitting. Yep. Come on, we can work this out. They're quitting before we've even started. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they really are. So wait, why are they quitting? Because they didn't get it straight away. Seriously? <laughs> That's okay, they're gonna come up with another impromptu song on the spot. They are. <laughs> oh, just, okay. They did the auto-tune thing again. At least she has a microphone. Yes, at least she has a microphone. And again, guys, auto-tune is fine. You just, you're supposed to not make it noticeable. Well, unless you want to. Well, unless that's the point. Unless you want that to be the style. Yeah, let's all leave T-Pain alone because he was using an effect. That's different. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I love how it was like, we need to try something more hardcore. Actually, you know what? Never mind. This will work fine. Let's not do that at all. <laughs> oh yeah, go hard. This is kind of a small-ish gripe, but the way in all of these Disney kids movies, the musicians put basically no work into getting where they are. I know, right? It's just kind of a bad message for the young kids who want to get into music. It's a bad message for anyone who wants to get into music. Well, yes, but I feel like this kind of shit is part of the reason so many people get through like two, three weeks of barely practicing and then give up because they sucked at it or whatever. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, did you really suck? People think that they have to be talented rather than skilled. Yeah. It's talent you just have. Skill is something you work for. Yeah. Mudslide Crush, that is such a shit name. What are you talking about? That name is sexy as fuck. I don't know, man. It sounds like a medical disorder. <laughs> I didn't think you were gonna make it. I told my dad I had a study group. Oh, I get to play half my set? What's Ray talking about? It's Ray a bit butthurt. Seems like it. We don't get the full set at the Halloween bash. You know that new girl, Stella? Oh, get out. She has some band and Miss Resnick <gasps> is in on it. Oh, that's Okay, great. Whoa, wait, hang on. First of all, there should be more than one band playing anything, right? Yeah. This so-called band has half our stage time now. It's nuts. You don't cancel um, the crush. You didn't get canceled. No, man, you don't cancel the crush. It's the crush. <laughs> Do you not get that? This unknown high school band. If that is not the oh, most accurate man. shit, though. Yeah. Bunch of teenagers who started playing and think like they're just gods. Do you know who else is in the band? Just a bunch of nobodies. Do they only have like one hour for bands or something? Maybe. It's me. What? I'm in the band. A half hour set's not that bad early on. Yeah, that's pretty good. We played plenty of half hour sets. I mean, you're kidding, right? Actually, we're not bad. You guys are coming up with songs impromptu on the spot. You're more than not bad. It's fucking amazing. We're just opening for you. I think the songs suck, but you know. If that's what you come up with on the spot. They're songs. <laughs> Do you want to be in a band? You could play backup guitar for me or something but come on, taking half our night from us? So now it's your night? So this guy's obviously a douche. Yes. My music, it's important to me, you know that. Dude, are you saying that music's not- Maybe my music is important to me too. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And look at that double popped collar. The audacity. I really don't want this to come between us. Oh my God. Yeah, so basically yeah, he's one of those douchebags who's just like, look, babe, my success is more important than you. I'll be back in a little bit, okay? Yeah. You know what? You don't matter nearly as much as my opportunity to gain like five more fans from this show. I'm taking that band down one way or another. Like you can be successful, but just somewhere else, babe. Yeah, but just less successful than me in a different way. Yeah, so I don't feel intimidated by it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the fuck is this? This is the band. Oh. oh. Oh, it's happening. This is how it's happening. Oh, wow. Does this seem like they want to be Rage Against the Machine, but like super vanilla? Pretty much, yeah. Teen Rage Against the Machine. Yeah. Rage against the teen. <laughs> <laughs> Fight the principal. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, won't do what you tell me, mom. <laughs> Okay, what is- I'm a superstar and I got a cool car. Oh, what is this song? Lyrical genius. You know what? The bass line's good though. Yeah, it's a cool riff, but- I'm not good with basically any else of it. Why is the bass player behind the crowd? Just <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, I'm just gonna leave uh, while you guys keep playing. Might get um, a drink, you know? I'm gonna still play, but I'm just gonna walk over here. Yeah. <laughs> no one gives a shit. <laughs> no one's looking at him at all. The 
Fuck the bass player. Poor rhythm section. <laughs> I love how he was like, man, they took up half our set. They only had two songs. <laughs> So they only got to play one song instead? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? If I only got to play one song and I previously had two, I would be a little mad. Yeah, fair. <laughs> well, you know what? No, mad isn't the right word. Cut. A little cut. I would be butt hurt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and he definitely was. <laughs> That's true. What's up, guys? Why is everyone weird? Wait, is it because you took up some of my sly crush? Right. Mad we cut their show short. So? They're the cool guys. Well, people just like their music more. And what are we? Rash like? Could be that. And it's like, damn it, my favorite band set got cut. I really wanted to listen <laughs> to more of them. Who the fuck are these guys? I mean, when you're a brand new band, you do have to, like, cut your teeth. Yeah. Subterranean and proud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't really want to be drinking lemonade when you hear that sound. No, oh no. <laughs> First order of business, a band name. What about Soul Groove? The Anarchist? Original. Hey, you know what? This part is fair though, because uh, coming up with a band name is real hard. Oh yeah, you need to come up with something crap because those are the only ones that won't be taken. Well, that's what we did with the band back in the day. The yeah. Gun Show. The Gun Show. <laughs> Two ends. <M's. laughs> yeah. Back off the bash. Yeah? What kind of band name is that? I love it. This was on the door. Hey, maybe lead with that. Okay, this is definitely a bit much. Or else. I mean, I guess it's high school. You haven't called me back. And I've just been distracted. Soccer practice. Wow. So he's really gonna be like that. Yeah, he's been distracted by how much of a giant douchebag he is. Band rehearsals. You know how it is, right? Brother. Okay, is that what this is about? Yep. The band? Yeah. I gotta go. I'll call you, all right? Also, I don't quite understand. Like, music and all that is considered non-important, but this one guy's band is? Is it just because they're on, like, the sports team as well? I guess. If a guy doesn't call for a few days, should the girl worry? Generally, no, but in this case, maybe. Yeah. You're guy right wow although i don't know if worry is the right word because this guy seems like a douche yeah exactly you're my friend you're not like a guy guy yeah it's not really helping unless you're saying that you're worried that you're finding out that he's a douche thanks my favorite Oh, are you serious? You're the lead singer of the new band, right? Oh, come on. Oh, the one that you just built one out for us. Wow. Just take it back. Yeah. What's going on? We're just making small talk. Yeah, because you're a small person and you're talking. Leave her alone. Are you going to make me? You're being yeah. a creep, right? So if you're not going to make me, then who's going to make her? Me. Oh. You. Do it, Delgado. Okay, but now you're not doing it, though. Ah, uh, you're not doing it, buddy. I mean, he's got a faux hawk, man. Why are you intimidated? Yeah, I know. When? Yeah. A little help here. When's got a full head on him? I'm a lover, not a fighter. Oh. Come on, Wendell. I've a better idea. Yeah, punch him. Go, Stella. Right in the face. Sp oh, there you go. That works. <laughs> you know what? Yes, that'll do. Yeah, <laughs> she's going for it again. Go hard. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Wow. Justice has arrived. What is going on here? Do you imagine if fucking Batman had a segue? Yes. Just fucking rolling in like I am the knight. <laughs> Lemonade mouth over here spits all over me. Ah, so that's where they get the fucking band name from. Yeah. I see. It's kind of a long band name. I mean, I know it was the decade of long band names, but still. It was appropriate for the time. It was not the longest band name of the time. No, it was not. Not even close. They're like Lemonade mouth, huh? It's kind of short. Yeah, more Lemonade. Fucking loving it. These kids need their fix. They do. You're Olivia's friend. I've never met one of Olivia's friends before. Oh, she doesn't have any friends. Imagine if Granny's just like super brutal. She's like, yeah, Olivia's just kind of a loser. <laughs> never expected her to bring a friend around. Wanna hear rap? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Do you though? Playing and I'm musically inclined. Wait, what? I'm in Wait, lemonade you, mouth. Is this supposed to be a rap? Yep. Maybe put on a metronome before you start writing the rap or something. Determinate? Get determined. That was unintelligible garbage, my guy. Put on your game face. I'm just gonna let him have it. He's like 16 or something. Yeah, and you know what? He's trying to run game, clearly. Check out my six skills, Olivia. Wow, that is an old cat. Oh no, okay, she's sad. What's happening? Sad about the cat. Oh. Nancy was my mom. This is the last real thing I've left for. Oh, uh, I see. Okay, sure. What about your dad? You know, can we just work on the songs? Yeah. <laughs> My dad? He's the owner of Segway. <laughs> Her dad's the principal. <laughs> What's he playing on? Does he have a keyboard? I like to think that he wrote this and recorded it previously and it's just on the laptop. Fucking get close, Wendell. Do it, Wendell. Go hard, son. Go with God. There's only one way to get a soul when you're a ginger and that's to steal it from someone else. <laughs> just getting in real close and he's just like... <laughs> <laughs> sucks it out of her like sucker. He heard that music has a lot of soul in it, and he was just like, yeah, that's it. That's what I gotta do. I can't believe no. the Halloween bash is tomorrow night. What? You okay? Fine. 
fine. I'm nervous, Olivia. Oh, right. She has the stage fright situation. Yeah. Gotcha. I mean, for your first time on stage, absolutely. Oh, for sure. I think I know just the thing to make us feel better. Especially if you weren't planning on being a musician. Oh, yeah, 100%. I'd like to know what's happening to the lemonade machine in the basement. Seriously? There's a lemonade machine down there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for now. She's just like, we have a basement? <laughs> no shit. And I'd like to know why it's being removed. You know, any information you have, we would really appreciate it. None of those students are supposed to be there. There's <laughs> a fucking meth lab set up. I'm sure it's just a mix up. Yeah, calm the fuck down, Cella. Yeah. That machine should have been gone ages ago with Principal Brennigan's sponsorship deal. Ah. Uh. Turbo Blast donated the gym and the scoreboard. We have to get rid of any competing rig machines. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Well, no, it's just business. I mean, I don't like it, but it is. Yeah, that's how business works. If you have any more questions, you bring them up to Principal Brannigan. Also, yeah, don't be rude to the secretary. It's like shitty customer service vibes. What can she do, man? I know. It's just a machine, Stella. It's more than that. Okay, I'm kind of with Wendell on this one. Yeah. Afternoon students. I mean, is he even good lemonade? The fucking lemonade machine should have been taken out so long ago that all the lemonade in it is like tainted. It's just super out of date. <laughs> That's why they're all playing so well. They're just hallucinating all of it. My theory still stands. Hey there, buddy, you're home early. Practice sort of got canceled. Because of no lemonade? Yeah, I'm guessing. They're on strike. Okay. What's all this? She's moving in, dude. Sydney stuff. Okay, what does it look like? It literally says Sydney on the boxes. It does, all of the boxes. Wendell's like, you know I can't read, Dad. <laughs> I know this has been tough for you. Mom leaving. Ah. Me moving on. Whatever issues you're having with Sydney, we have to figure them out because she makes me happy when. God, it turns out this guy's like 35. He just looks like 50. Oh. And I've asked her to marry me. It's just aged horrendously. <laughs> <laughs> That's so mean. Kids, don't smoke. Every cigarette is doing you damage. <laughs> So the mom left. Yeah. And the dad just moved on as he should. <laughs> so in other words, Wendell's just being a dick. Yeah, a little bit. He's like, dad, I can't believe you would find love again. I can't believe you would try to not be lonely. I can't believe you want to be happy. What are you even doing to this family? I wish you didn't have a dad. Such a soft sensitive asshole. Hey, Mo, <laughs> have you seen the new weight room? You gotta check it out. Does uh, she know? What is this? Cool uh, band thing working out for yes. you. Yes. Are you serious? Seriously, I don't have time for <laughs> Really? I mean, that makes sense. Uh, you know Jules, right? Yeah, it totally makes sense. <laughs> no, wait, Mo. He did that on purpose. He's like, hey, you've got to lose her. Hey, good luck tonight. What a dick. I mean, to be honest, though, he kind of did her a favor. He did. He did the best thing for her. He just doesn't know that. Maybe she's got hold on. We're on in 10 minutes. I can't find her anyway. One of you other guys are going to have to just step in and sing. We can't go on without a lead what? singer. Who, Olivia? No one else left the lyrics. What? That way. Looked like she was gonna hurl. Ah. Ah. Yeah, she's got mad stage fright. Damn it, it's all that poisoned lemonade. I think those uh, lemon heads are bailing on you, Mr. B. Oh, what are those shots? I know. You'd be happy to go on early. Come on, guys. You're. Okay, I was gonna see you better than this, but I know you're not, so. No, they're not. They're absolutely not. Try to be better than this, though. This is completely on brand. Olivia! Oh, sorry, Janet. Found her! Hey, quick, let's break down the door. We're, we're, we're coming in. Drag her on stage. Yeah. How are you feeling, Olivia? I'm great, super. Ah, okay, we're gonna do the pep talk, sure. But it's probably not the best idea for me to actually go out there. Oh, uh, no. Uh, we, we've got plenty, thank you. Oh, wow, that costume is so metal. She's <laughs> gonna take a shit while she's in the toilet. You know why? Because she's full of shit. <laughs> we're all scared. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Wait, what? Are they gonna give her some lemonade? Does she have a lemonade fucking belt? Yes. Jesus. Right? The lemonade will fix everything. I remember a story about Duff from Guns N' Roses having a beer belt, basically exactly like that. We believe in you, okay? That's right. Which actually sounds like a terrible idea now that I'm thinking about it. Your beers would get all shaken up. The fucking lemonade is so old, it's fermented. It's basically just booze. <laughs> it's limoncello. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, all right, I'm a little drunk. Let's do this. Fuck yeah, boss. Let's make some music. <laughs> Nice costumes. Oh, you're not wearing any? Wait, what are you, are you wearing? wearing costumes? Bloody. What the fuck? Calm down, Nightwing. <laughs> Trying hard to fight these tears. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. I can't take it. 
you know, when they started off and they were showing um, the bass player girl with the violin, I was thinking, sick, they're going to do something interesting. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, I'm kind of hyped that they're just playing like some standard band setup, but the violin could have been cool. It's not a common thing. I mean, I really liked Yellow Card growing up, so yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm not opposed. And they're really rolling with this lemonade thing. They really are. Like, I get that they've latched onto a thing, but Lemonade's not that hype, man. I know, right? It's like, it's all right. People are just gonna think they have a sponsorship deal. <laughs> oh, and everyone's starting to like it. There you go. It's fun that they're good at performing to start off with, eh? Yeah. Seriously, like all of them. Stage presence really is fucking key <laughs> to a good performance. Oh, it's a huge deal. Considering how many bands we've seen play that didn't have that stage presence at all. Yeah, I find that you can be like a little bit subpar musically, but if you have great stage presence and are good at interacting with your audience, it makes up for it. 100. But if you have it the other way around, it doesn't matter how good you are. If you're boring to watch, you're boring to watch. Yeah. I might as well just put some headphones in, listen to a recording. Well, I mean, that's the thing. For the most part, people go to concerts to have fun, so. Exactly. Oh. Oh boy. They're doing the rapping thing. Okay. Oh. But she's bringing in the keytar for him. Oh, nice. There you go. Rock the keytar, man. Should have started off with that, man. Yeah, the keytar is tough because if you can actually rock it, you, you do that. Oh, 100%. Do it hard, man. And everyone's just thirsty as hell. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, again, this is the first thing they've ever seen from this band and they're like really good. <laughs> I do appreciate they're not really focusing on the hands, so we can't see whether they're playing properly or not. That's key. Good filming. Not that good. <laughs> they're great. And of course, douchebag now X or whatever is like, oh, you know what? I'm having a bit of a change of heart. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Everybody, we want you to pass this back, so hurry Oh, up. lemonade. We'd like to shine a light on a recent change that affects us Really? Oh my God. Are you fucking kidding me? Lemonade. Oh. Fight the principal. Lemonade machine in the basement scheduled for removal. <laughs> this school is treating certain people. <laughs> They're like, yeah, boo. And then they drink something like, oh, this stuff tastes like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you guys want to keep this? Funding for sports is more important than a music program. I love how they're turning this into like a movement. Yeah. We all deserve to be treated like we matter. Oh my God. Oh boy. The big political movement. Wait, what the fuck? What? What the fuck is this? They rehearsed the dance moves too, I guess. Yeah, this is a normal thing for bands. I just, I just don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> They're not <good> yeah. raps. <laughs> like, there are times when you can put rapping into rock-type music, but this is just not one of those times. Oh, yeah, no. It's just not working out. Like, I like rock music that has rap in it. Yeah. This is not it, though. This just ain't it. Isn't that a fucking synth? Yeah, I could definitely hear a synth in the background for sure. What the hell, Wen? Yeah, you know what? Wendell has just geniusly looped all of this stuff ahead of time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're not even playing any of it. They're just miming. Well, you know what? That does happen. Shut it off. Isn't it a bit late? Oh, my God. And she's wearing the T-shirt. The T-shirt is not that edgy. It's really not. <laughs> It's very much a, like, Disney Channel version of edgy. That was quite a show you all put on. Super mild rebellion. How can we be rebellious without using swear words? You're very talented. Very. Or rallying against something that actually matters. Yeah. A high school dance is no place for a political tirade. About lemonade. I mean, I'm having a hard time disagreeing with this guy. What you did Friday night was completely disruptive. Yeah, he's not wrong. He's right for the wrong reasons. <laughs> yes. But. Yeah. He's not wrong. He's just being a dick about it. And you promised there'd be no funny business. We just spoke our minds. And oh my God, we? We or you? Yeah. The decisions I make are for the good of this school. Lemonade Mouth is finished. I mean, is it though? I mean... You will not use the music room. Can... You will not use the instruments. Oh, you know uh, what? I guess if they have nowhere else to uh, practice at... I will suspend you. Yeah, if they got nowhere else to play... Uh, that's a tough one. A bunch of kids have been asking if they can buy them. I've already sold like five copies, 10 bucks a pop. <laughs> oh. AV Club gets 30% and you take the rest. That's fair. If they're gonna do all of the freaking work. Yeah, man, take advantage. Yeah. Hustle when, hustle. 
<laughs> Teacher's just gonna think they're dealing drugs. Yeah, it definitely looked a bit sus. This year's Halloween bash will best be remembered for the lemonade valve, a champion for students sidelined by the privilege and elite. Huh? Our first review. I'm last, apparently. This is true. I mean, I get what they're going for with the whole, like, you know, principal's tyrannical reign, but just lemonade was a weird angle. Yeah. Okay, that's just odd. They started a movement. A community based around lemonade. Yeah. Guys, this is a very weird thing to rally around. I mean, I would be totally this stoked, though, if people in my school were this jazzed about my band at the time. Sure. I mean, I didn't have a band in high school, so no comment there. I thought I made myself clear. This lemonade is over. She's like, I didn't do this. It wasn't us. You're playing a dangerous game here, miss. She's not playing anything. I love how the guy in the background just can't take down this banner. He's just poking it. It looks like he's trying to clean the banner, but he's clearly not working out. <laughs> what would you say? Yeah, what would you say? If we told you we could play again. Oh, okay. Running gun is never going to change his mind. You can play outside of the school. We're not talking about at school. Yeah. There you go. We're talking about here. Oh, not at someone's garage? <laughs> I gave Dante our CD. Oh. He loved it. You know what? Yeah, that's actually for real. Some venue owners will be hyped about that kind of thing. Oh, yes. Yeah, they will. It could become a regular gig. I barely made it through the first one. My parents think I'm at soccer practice every afternoon. Man, fuck soccer practice. Scott eats here. I'm planning on not seeing him for the rest of my life. Well, why don't you ruin this place that he likes to go to on a regular basis? It's perfect. We mean something to people. We're at the center of a movement here. After that fucking one song that they heard. Two songs. We're the voice of a generation, man. I'm sort <laughs> of not counting the second one because it was kind of a song, but kind of not at the same time. Yeah. Good luck with your movement. I've got homework to do. <laughs> Failing. All right. I love how Mo was like, oh no, that guy, my ex comes here all the time, which is why I agreed to come here. Mo, you okay? <laughs> She's okay now. The revolution. <laughs> Guys, okay, imagine getting this much pressure on your shoulders after you played two songs and one set. Damn. Maybe we do matter. Oh, Jesus Christ. We were playing at Dante's every Thursday night. That's great, though. I mean, if they got a regular gig, that's solid. Hell yeah, that's super solid. And I mean, this right here, just people sitting around eating food is, yeah, that for your first kind of gig when you're a teenager, it's great. This is how it usually works. Secure, to fly, gotta let it shine. And they're doing in switch instruments kind of thing, so they, they're both the lead singer. I guess so. I like that in the sense that it takes pressure off of Olivia. Yeah, true. She's so good. Mo clearly wants to do some performing here. It's kind of like if Mo could have sung the whole time. Why did she not do it from the start? Why were they stressed when Olivia was like gonna bail from fear? They're like, you know what, Mo, you sing. Guys, did you not sort out backups? I mean, if they've got backup harmonies, you think someone's doing them. What the hell? Wait, why is the pizza guy following? Get back behind the bar, pizza guy. Dude, get to work. We've got orders to fill. You have a job to do? Oh, get off the table. Yeah, definitely get off the table. Putting your feet where people's food is gonna be? What's wrong with you? No, guys, people eat there. Get off the tables. This is how people get sick, guys. Dude, one of those tables, the leg just collapses and- Oh, 100%. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just because it's fun to get up on tables and dance doesn't mean it's a good plan. Nope. And yes, I know that some people have done it a bunch and never gotten hurt. Sure. That still doesn't make it a good idea. Well, so it only needs to fuck up once. Yeah. And then you've got a fractured hip at 17. Or worse. Yeah. What? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Oh, that is so cringy. Oh, and that guy is so hyped. He's like, yeah. Give me your napkins, babe. Hell yeah. I'm gonna cherish these napkins forever. Whoa, her reflection was in this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Lemonade Mouth was officially a sensation, and five strangers were suddenly friends. Yeah, that is generally how it goes. Has anyone seen Olivia today? Okay, Olivia's having a rough time. The cat died. Seems like it. Yeah, you came. We all did. Look, I'm, I'm really sorry about Nancy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah me too. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah. Sometimes I like to look up and see what shapes I can find, you know, in the clouds. Sure. It's, uh... Giant old lady with the... I love how you can clearly see that he's like underneath the branches, so he wouldn't be able yeah. to see the sky directly. <laughs> That's so true. Yeah. They're literally all lying under the tree. Sometimes I think I'm too stupid to be in my family. Oh, God damn it, dude. Like I'm just some big letdown. No, you're just a jerk. <laughs> yeah, definitely just a jerk. But yeah, it, it's a bummer to be in that position. Like, she oh, would have 100%. so much pressure. I'm just fucking around. Oh, for sure. I mean, dude, that's all we do, but you know. Try living up to a perfect brother. I 
take perfect brother over my dad's ridiculous girlfriend. What oh my the God, fuck dude. did she do? Fucking let it go, Wendell. My dad's in prison. Oh, the dad's in prison. Okay. All right. Yeah, there you go. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, they didn't say it. I'm too humiliated to talk to him or about him. And what did he do to get in jail? They're not going to say. <laughs> You know, he writes, but I don't write back. Oh. oh. I don't know what to say. I mean, Rough. Yeah. He's made some really bad decisions since my mom died, and I still love him, but he's just... I appreciate that they went for this. He's a stranger now, you know? They actually went for trying to depict real problems that kids actually have. Sure. You sure? Instead of just being super cookie cutter about it. I mean, it's still a super watered down decom version of it, but you know, it's it's something. I assume, you know, like I don't know anyone whose parents went to prison. Cause it's held out for you. Hang on, is she a better singer than Olivia? Everything changes. Maybe. <laughs> I think she is. <gasps> oh man. <laughs> we'll always be <laughs> Olivia's just been relegated to fucking the egg shaker. <laughs> Shakers. That's her whole role in the match now. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Brutal. Loses her cat, loses her mom, loses her dad. Hang on. Can everybody in this band sing lead? Apparently. Everybody in this band can sing. Why was Olivia's stage fright ever a problem? Why would it matter? Wait, are they filming a video clip now? Think so. The little brothers are helping. The little brothers are doing it. That's sick. Well, they are geniuses, so. That's pretty adorable. Yeah. I just want them to switch after this to a montage of the little brothers editing their music video. Yeah. <laughs> Showing all the hard work that goes into it. Yeah. They're just like, man, they're not paying us enough for this. Oh, did why? Because they're crazy kids jumping in the pool with their clothes on. Uh, yep. But yeah, for real, everybody in this band can sing and play. They I think they're going to be fine. Oh, come on, Mo. Don't have anything to talk about, I think Scott. we do. Yeah, no, I think, I think you're good. Mo, I made a mistake. All right, all right, good start. Looks well. I'm, um, you know, suspicious though. What are you sorry for? That's what I want to know. I still have feelings for you. Mm. Uh, apologize. What about Jules? We're just friends. Okay, I'm not hearing an apology here though. The thing is, Scott, I'm not the same girl I was two months ago. Yeah, no, that's fair. She's part of a movement. <laughs> She's a political leader now. Me, my music, we're a package deal now. Okay, I, I, I get that now, I do. And I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? But hang on, all you did was say you were sorry. You didn't even say what for. Yeah. What for? It's the biggest fucking sign that they don't know why they should be sorry. Of course I can. But it doesn't change anything between us. Yeah, okay. I'm glad she's not letting it happen. Yeah, that's good. It's gonna take a lot more than sorry to fix this. Damn straight, Mo. Yes. Come on, Mo, just wait. Just show that you understand what the problem actually was instead of just being like, babe, I'm just lonely without you though. Yeah, but what's more is just respect the boundaries. Originally called yeah. uh, when. She says it's gonna take more than just sorry. Well, yeah. Yeah, respect that. Doing, uh, and yeah. Wait, the come on, you've got to hear this. What? Oh. Oh, uh, when she's like trying to be a family. Yeah. She's like, I'm so excited, son. Yes. She's trying to be supportive. You're not my mom. Yeah. What's going on here? We're on the radio. <laughs> oh God, in 2011. I know. Dad, we're part of a dead industry. Oh my God, yes. Dad, we have like an extra 20 people listening to us. Oh my God. <laughs> Turn on WRIZ right now. <laughs> they're playing our song. Oh, that's so funny. The radio, they're playing our song on the radio, yes! <laughs> the radio sponsor for Rising Star. Okay, that's pretty cute. That is cute. <laughs> that is a sick dance move, man. Oh, buddy. Just when the future looked brightest, everything started to fall apart. You know, uh, he's doing better than I did back then, though, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh dear, don't get everybody sick. Maybe you shouldn't be in a restaurant. Yeah. Sure you okay? I think it's just allergies. Okay. I'm gonna take you down a rise and star tomorrow. The fuck? Why would you stop singing just because this asshole is. <laughs> oh damn, you good? Mo gave it to me, damn it. <laughs> she got you sick? She got me sick. <laughs> Wait, what are, the you, hell? are you, you're gonna Kanye her? Loser, man! 
Yeah, yeah, he is. With that fucking shirt as well. For real. I'm gonna let you finish. Mudslide Crush. I have one of the best videos of all time. Wait, what? No. No. What is this gonna start? Like a pizza bar brawl? Yeah, I guess so. And they're just eating pizza <laughs> in the background. <laughs> Olivia and Delgado just trying to get some food, man. <laughs> yeah. He slipped on a cup? Oh. What the fuck? What? Okay, should this guy not be written up for, like, destruction of property? So the owner is super pissed. Bro, would you not be calling the cops right now? Why are you such a jerk? He got what he wanted, didn't he? This motherfucker just started a whole brawl in my pizza restaurant and caused property damage. Dante's not gonna let us play there anymore, that's for sure. Why the hell were they kicked out? Yeah. What the fuck, Dante? Yeah, every time someone gets bullied, the person getting bullied is the one who gets blamed in movies and TV shows. Yeah. And yes, that is relatively accurate to real life, I swear to God. Oh yeah, that's, that's relevant to my experience for sure. It, it lines up, but like, fuck, you know? You sure you're okay? <laughs> just a little bit tired, that's all. Because you're sick. Wait, wait Mo? There's, um, something I need to tell you. Are you gonna ask her out? For a long time, I wanted to tell you. Just you were with Scott, and then we became friends. I like you, Mo. Oh, man, he's shooting his shot. Yeah, she's not hyped. We're just friends, Charlie. Oh. Ooh. Good friends, that's all. What you say? Shut down. Charlie. No, you know what? Oh, don't, dude. He hurt. No, no, no. That's not this stupid song. That is not the reaction, man. You gotta be kidding me. It's time to come in, Mono. My guy, you could have taken that well. What happened? He really could have. Especially considering that she is your friend. Mm hmm. What's going on? Baba doesn't trust me. We do trust you, Mono. Do you? No. <laughs> no. He, he does not. We was not the word. This guy's got a fucking setup. I know, right? Get a drum out his feelings. Ugh. Bro, I'm fucking jealous of this guy's setup. Oh, yeah, same. Ooh. Ah! Yeah, dude. Thanks for helping me. I've been meaning to ask you. Will you be my best man? Oh. Yo, what? Come on, react. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, right in the eye. Oh, buddy. I feel like he kind of deserved it, though. A little bit. Charlie has three broken fingers. Broke three fingers? Jesus. Well, I was just back out. Out of everything you've been through? Wow. You okay? Just has a concussion. Oh, what happened? Sydney. Sydney did it? <laughs> no. Sydney's pitcher. Okay. I told my dad, hang it up, and, and he asked me to be his best man. It's great news. Yeah. That's terrible news. Oh. Dude. Just because Sydney wormed her way into my family <laughs> doesn't mean I have to be happy about it. Wormed her way in. Jesus Christ. You're ridiculous. My guy. Do you hate your dad? It sounds honestly that he's just mad at his mom for leaving. Hey, we have to talk about tomorrow. But he's just taking it out on his dad. Yeah. What's to talk about? We can't play. And this poor stepmom. Yeah. Jesus. Maybe it's time to call it quits. She's just trying her best. <laughs> and I swear she is just trying. So you just want to give up? Just be happy that you don't have to go on stage oh, anymore. no, no. When this is about you not appreciating what you have. Yeah. True story. You have a family! Your dad! Your sister! Sydney! You have the nerve to feel sorry for yourself? The way she said that really sounded like his sister is Sydney. And I was like, wait, hang on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. This isn't that kind of movie. <laughs> Go ahead, give up. I didn't even want to be in this band in the first place. Yeah. Then why did you do it? Oh, for you, you jerk! Oh, wow. Did it for you. Uh, she just did it because she was into him. Oh, dude, yeah. He is clueless as fuck. Although, you know what? I like that they're portraying both of these teenage guys as being clueless in the right ways. Yeah, clueless and or super immature. I mean, they are teenage dudes. We have an emergency. What is the, the lighting in this shot? It's odd. I'm right in front of the school. Hurry! Anybody what? know what this is about? What is going on? I do not know. Oh. <laughs> I feel like Mo should not be outside. Yeah. What happened? What's going on, Stella? What are you doing? She lost her voice. Protesting the removal of Mel's lemonade machine. Uh. In this weather? Oh, it's supposed to be overcast. Okay, kid. I got three more pickups today. Oh. It's gonna rain. Let's get out of here. Oh. They're trying to portray it as overcast, even though it's sunny as fuck. Yeah. Aww. You move or I move you. <laughs> Okay, the fake rain is a bit much. <laughs> it's just making everything even harder to see. Have your wicked rain. Hey, no! Oh, oh, oh. Hey, stop! They're just doing their job and these kids are freaking assaulting them. <laughs> yeah. Hey, kids, maybe stop assaulting these guys. Yeah. That day was a bit of a low for the band. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> are these not kids? So much for Rising Star. We can't skip it. It's over. Wouldn't the cops have just taken each one home to their parents? Like, yeah, or just called their parents to the school. Yeah. We lose. So we lose. So what? I'm kind of with her on the whether you win or lose thing. Yeah. You do it to be in it. Yeah, exactly. You play to play. For ourselves. Friendship. And this is the one problem with like Battle of the Bands type things is like, I don't give a shit about who wins. I just want to play a good set. Exactly. This isn't just 
humiliating ourselves. Look, we're not doing it. Agreed. Weak. Mm. We're in a holding cell. Yeah, which is, I'm still confused about. And you're the only one to blame. Me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty much all your fault. Can they put kids in a holding cell? I don't know. We didn't actually get arrested. Okay, good. We're waiting for our parents. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Ah, uh, here comes another impromptu jam session. Oh no, okay. Jam session. I love how this is just how they fix all their problems. Come on, come on, turn up the music. <laughs> okay, and, and, and now we're good. Yep, now we are good. Oh, Dara, when I said get out of the house. I love how grandma's just not even that bummed about it. Like, yeah, yeah. everyone spends time in jail, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's a family thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Sydney. When your dad, he's stuck in town at work, just thought I'd come and... Oh, okay, okay. That's is nice. this, this is the turning point? <gasps> oh, she's so stoked. Thanks for coming. Aww. Like, finally. Absolutely. That's so sweet. She actually really, really appreciates it. Yeah. I mean, she's been trying, like, this whole movie, so... Yeah. I know you're disappointed in me, man. I don't I want just... to talk about it. I love how Mo's not sick anymore. Yeah, she's not sick at all. I need to say this. Okay. I'm finding my way. And yeah, I'll make mistakes, but I deserve for you to just let me be me. Could you at least try, Baba? Yeah, that's gotta be tough. But you're still in trouble. I can understand sort of her feelings of not really knowing where to fit in in the terms of being like the uh, foreign kid in like the new school or whatever. I didn't even come from Thailand. Like, I was born and raised in Australia, but I was still never fully the Australian kid or the Thai kid. Yeah, 100%. Totally get that too. Having like both my parents be immigrants and shit. She is so damn lucky to have that strict immigrant parent who will actually listen to you. Yeah. Because <laughs> I sure as fuck could not have have that conversation with my dad. Yeah. My dad would get full Sicilian on me, you know? I make you, I kill you! And that is sort of the common story for a lot of other people I know as well. For those people out there wondering what was going on, my dad is Thai and my mom's Australian. Yeah, mm, my whole family is Italian. Here we go. Eh? Oh, it's his brother. Tommy. Oh, I was like, who's this random guy? Yeah. You want to play music? You need to stand up to mom and dad and tell them that. Easy for you to say. They think everything you do is perfect. They're not thinking that for long. How's he dropping out? He's dropping out. My grades this semester, not so hot. Ah. What do you say we go tell mom and dad together? How about that? Nice. You know, you gotta appreciate the good quality Big Brother story arc here. Oh yes, you do. Seen way too many shitty Big Brother story arcs. Yeah, exactly. And shitty Big Brother real life story. Yeah, actual just shitty Big Brothers. <laughs> real life shitty Big Brothers, yeah, that. Having a quality Big Brother. Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> well, you know what? I had a quality Big Brother, it's just that I didn't get to spend much time with him until I was older. You got off with the warning. Let's just leave it at that. Do you know what I see when I look at you, Stella? I see the most determined. Cringy emo kid. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look at what you've done. You're kind of a knob. You started a band. But, you know, we've all got our flaws. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe you need to get your head out of your ass. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, yeah, with Stella, it really just seems like most of her struggle was just her own crap. It seemed like she was kind of like, when? <sighs> okay, to be fair, there is the pressure of living up to the family standards. 100%. Yeah, I get that. Just the way that she was so aggro about it to them, it was like... Agreed. Dude, that's not fair. They're not putting this on you. Yeah. They're not, like, forcing you. Seems like they were trying to be supportive. <laughs> they seem to be pretty chill. Yeah. Yeah, pretty chill. You want to come see our revolution? We were planning on it. Yeah, see? It's super supportive. Super supportive. What the hell? The her little brothers helped her make a freaking music video. They did. Don't you wish you were us? No. Don't you wish you were Oh, he did the fucking guitar flip. Go hard, son. Oh, boy. That's the coolest thing you've done all movie. You know we run this town. Does that guy literally have a t-shirt with a picture of his face on it? I hope so, because that is the most baller move. Is. That's a fucking power move, man. That, that, you know what? I am now turning my mind around and I'm rooting for this guy. Yeah, I know. They're not supposed to make us like the bad guy. What the hell? <laughs> Like five seconds ago, I didn't wish I was him, but now I do. Um, warns, you know, Mo about her boyfriend's scummy behavior. He did. This guy's the hero of the movie. The crash. Don't you wish you were us? I'm 
pretty sure the girls don't wish they were you. I mean, maybe they do. Maybe they do. Some do. Yeah. Some of the girls out there are like, look, these guys are kind of douchey, but I'd love to be performing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just devastating lyrics. Yeah. You're never going to heal that burn. I gotta say, this guy is a genius songwriter. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we will. I don't think anything can top that. Lemonade mouth is over. It's time to hang it up. Guys, just leave. Let's go home, ladies and gentlemen. But also though, I wouldn't brag if you were delegated to being the opening band. Yeah. Just saying. That's true. No one puts the headliner first. That's very true. Uh, except for every now and then you get those really shitty gigs where you'd be the closing band. Yeah. Trying hard to fight these tears. Oh God, okay. Oh my God. I'm crazy. They took off the auto-tune. <laughs> <laughs> okay, again, I'm joking. That's not how auto-tune works. You fools! <laughs> you can do this. She lost her voice and he can't see the keyboard. <laughs> And oh Moe's still sick. sick. <laughs> Did you guys not sort this stuff out beforehand? Also, I gotta I gotta say, being sick doesn't prevent you from playing bass. Having a cough? I've gone on stage with a cold before. Yeah, I know, right? Stops you from singing well, sure. Or at least makes it difficult. I went on stage with a full-blown flu. I like nearly passed out on stage. <laughs> okay, where are you going? They need help, man. Do that, man, and you're out of the band for good. Are you gonna help them out because you know their songs? Yeah, I know, right? I guess he's a musical god as well. No, you know what? He's a huge <laughs> fanboy. So he's been practicing their songs secretly so that he could join the band when the time arises. Trying hard to get it out. Just like everyone else in the crowd, apparently. Yeah, everybody knows their fucking songs already. I guess it was on the radio, though. That's a pretty big deal. The biggest of deals. I'll find another band. I want to cry. I can't hear Although it's, it's weird that he has to come in and help out to save. I like that the crowd being like, no, it's cool, guys. We know what's up. That's pretty cool. But this guy coming in with the guitar changes nothing for me. Yeah. <laughs> like, they don't need you, man. First of all, Stella wasn't having any problems yeah. with playing. She could still play. <laughs> yeah. So even if they were trying to say Mo is not playing bass right now, so we have two guitars, it's like, dude, okay, but she just has a cough. Exactly. They can pull it together. Also, doesn't everyone play each other's instruments in this fucking band? Yeah. It seems like everybody Everybody in this band plays every instrument, so what does it even fucking matter? Yeah. <laughs> we didn't win Rising Star. We won something bigger that night. A new band member who kind of is a dick. But he's popular, okay? Yeah. We got social standing. <laughs> That's right. Thank you for helping us out. It's the least I could do. No, the least you could do is apologize properly. Yeah. Not just say you're sorry, but understand why. I'm sorry I flirted with another girl and that I wasn't supportive of your band. If you could give me a chance, I'd really like to get to know this moment. I'd like that. To be fair though, I'm kind of glad she didn't hook up with the drummer because inter-band relationships rarely, rarely ever work out. Ooh, yeah. It's uh, kind of a recipe for disaster. I feel bad for Charlie here because I definitely prefer him, but you are 100. Do not date band members. It's okay. It's okay. Charlie oh. is sorted. Charlie will be fine. Charlie's a pretty boy. He's going to be fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this guy is going to have trouble getting girls. Now, Wen and Olivia, on the other hand, they're going to ruin the band. Oh, that's a weird way to hold a tiny kitten, but um, you're right, you know, hmm. about Sydney. She definitely cares. It's not perfect, but it's okay. Yeah, it took you long enough. Yeah, and he's not even being like, I was kind of a dick, and yeah, she deserved better. He's like, you know what? I guess she's kind of all right. I guess she's okay. She's fine. She'll do. I can tolerate her being around. Yeah, jerk. She shouldn't support me too much, though. <laughs> yeah, it's holding me back. God, stop suffocating me, Sydney. <laughs> Of our lives. That's my bandmate up there. And that's my old college buddy. Who's this fucking random? You and me were like practically best friends already. What? That'd be weird. You know, I used to be in a band too. Okay, you're being weird, bro. I believe that though, with that shirt, he definitely was in a band. Really? Yeah, played bass. Oh my god. Yeah, that shirt and jacket combo, bass player. I own an organic lemonade company. Get out. No, that's right. Mel? Yeah. He made the lemonade. He's Mel. He's Mel. He's the lemonade dude. He's like, you know, I've been looking for a young band to sponsor. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> yeah. risking it all pays off in ways you never imagined. Of course it's organic as well. Mel understood this and built a place where all our voices could be heard. Okay, so they did get a lemonade sponsorship. I thought they were going to be like, and finally we got our lemonade machine back in the basement. And then <laughs> we sold out. <laughs> 
Mel really put some hectic money into this place. Yeah, he did. Jesus. But also, how does that work with the previous sponsorship? I'm guessing that they bailed. They're like, hey, Turbo Blast, we got your stuff. Now we're good. Contract over. Yeah, okay. And then they're like, okay, cool. We're going to bulldoze your gym now. <laughs> we're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, hang on. No, there are still students in there. Family. <laughs> That's a, the principal's a good guy now? I guess so. That dad is how Lemonade Mouth came to be. Oh, this whole thing was a letter to her dad. Oh. Can't wait to tell you the rest in person. Okay. okay. Nice. Love, Olivia. And now they're famous. Oh my god, they're gonna play Madison Square Garden. You're never gonna believe <laughs> where we're playing next week. Fuck off. Seriously? That's what they're doing. They're playing Madison Square Garden. That fucking hat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know what? They better be fucking all ready to perform the shit out of this show. I love how they just added the other guy to the band. There's four band members are dating each other. Yeah, that's a problem. Cool. Like, musically speaking, just adding a second guitar, sure. And you know what? Stella's not even playing guitar now. Yeah. Wait, what the hell? Why isn't Mo playing anything either? What the fuck? Yeah, because bass is not important. Wendell's just like holding down the bass part like, okay, yeah, I can do two jobs, it's fine. Sure, fine, guys. <laughs> Well, you know what? That's um, what Ray Manzarek used to do in The Doors. He'd hold down the bass part on the keyboard. Yeah, fair. It seems like a bit of a cop-out, though, to just be like, oh, yeah, and the girls, they can just dance and sing, right? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, had two of them playing instruments. Just let them play the fucking instruments. <laughs> and it's like, it was cool to have them playing the instruments and just being that. Like, yeah. why does every pretty girl in a music movie have to be a singer? I know. There's nothing wrong with being a singer, but just every damn time. Here comes a Dude, if you spend all this time practicing instruments like guitar and bass, chances are you're probably proud and actually want to do that. Yeah. You're not trying to abandon it first chance you get. Exactly. Oh, now fucking Wen's rapping again, so... Yeah. But you know what? <laughs> is anyone actually playing anything? I was gonna say, keyboards is the one thing you can sort of miss here and there when you've got a full band, but then who's playing the fucking bass now? All these dancers just hanging around. I mean, I guess they've got to, to distract you from the fact that there's a side band off, like, behind yeah. the stage <laughs> Actually playing, playing the, the song. song. Do you know what? The music in this is, like, technically better done than in Camp Rock, but I yeah. liked the songs in Camp Rock more. Yeah, actually, though. It, yeah. I just feel like these ones are just more forgettable. Pretty much. I at least remember Camp Rock's ones. They had just better choruses. Yeah. Pretty much. All right, and I think that's about it. Probably. That was fun. Yeah, fun. Kind of the same thing with the music. The overall production, I think, was better than Camp Rock, but I don't necessarily think that that makes it actually better. I kind of liked how much cheesier Camp Rock was. It almost, like, committed harder to being kind of bad. Yeah. Whereas this one really tried to be good, and I'm like... Yes. Nah, man. Give me a movie that commits to being shit yep. over something that tries to be good and only gets kind of mediocre. That's my exact point. But it's still fun. For it's sure. fun, though. I feel like we're really critical because we are musicians, so, you know. <laughs> oh, for sure, but also dickheads. <laughs> yeah, we're also <laughs> assholes, so, you know. Just quickly, for anyone still here, because I know I saw a lot of comments asking me about the guyliner thing, I will dig up some old photos and put them on my Instagram, so if you're not following us already, yeah. I will put up both of our Instagrams in oh, the yeah. um, top-pinned comment. That was both of us wearing guyliner. <laughs> yeah, you had it too. Yeah, I do have those photos as well, so we'll, we'll toss them both up. No plans on yeah. what to do next, right? No idea. No, nah, we'll, yeah. we'll see. We'll figure that out. But, uh, you know, until then, you've been with Sam. Stuff. Where the, the movie buds. buds.